Yo, what is up guys? Today I was gonna watch back my games of the recent Rush League tournament just for myself and see what I did wrong, see what I can improve on. But I kind of noticed pretty early on I didn't do anything good and wasn't put in a position to do that much good because my team absolutely carried me. You see at the start here, I'm playing typical Judex stuff, playing high ground, making sure we don't get flanked. Shoot the wall to heal, whatnot. And we know the Aletta is going to flank from the right side, so I'm getting ready for that. Not seeing any action here. The Aletta comes in. I'm just going to start spectating Bide right away. I really don't do much. But Bide plays an absolutely amazing game on Ruby. So I wanted to watch back and see what he did in specific. So he stays behind his shit. Oh, that's great positioning. What the fuck? Basically, when somebody comes around to flank him, he goes to the right between his shield on both sides, using his shield perfectly. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing more of that shield play. Okay, he gets danced. Comes back up. Looks like he's going to get destroyed here. Not much chance of surviving this. 3v1. So at this point of the game, I'm freaking out. We're down 15%. And by using the shield and cart as perfect cover, it really pays off to play a lot of Ruby. Seems like he knows everything about these shields. But the fact that he's just surviving here at 800 HP. Goes back to use the cart as cover. There's a new shield and dies again. It's at about this point of the game where we started making a comeback. I don't think Bide dies again. Um, Bide and Hopper just play perfectly. At this point of the game, we're all just doing awful. But something happens right around here, and that's exactly what I'm trying to find out. Bide uses a great shield to the right. Using it for the passive damage reduction. Shields off Hopper from the bomb. That's a great play. And a good alt while they're stuck in there and can't dodge it. While shooting the block. I think Hopper and Bide stay really close together here and just shut down the other team in a 2v3. So we made our comeback. 1v1ing the Ruby, using our shield perfectly. The Ruby never really gets free shots on us. Now standing back that way to protect Hopper. That shield is just to protect Hopper. He's behind Ruby now. And our shields following it once again. We got no more shields, so backing up behind the cart. Damn, well played. Using shields, also staying by the cart because it regens your health a little bit. Still alive, still regening off the cart, always behind our shields. That shield's a little bit sus, but it comes over to help offer. Hopper's using the shields perfectly too. They have great synergy. Well, teleportation. Bide's out here lag switching. Huge web using the cover of the shield. At this point, like, Bide's ability to stay alive for the past two minutes just saved us the entire game. Because they sent all three people to kill Bide. I'm over there dying on her own cart. <clears throat> Hopper goes up and dies. Bide's in a 2v1. But uses the ultimate on Ruby. Absolutely destroys these guys. I mean, at this point in the game, it's over. You had one chance to save the game and buy 2v1s. Absolutely crazy plays this game. Yeah, so the main takeaway I got from here is... If you just stay alive, use the cover from the cart and the shield the entire time, and push the cart slowly but surely, Ruby is an absolute beast. It seems like she has more survivability than even Jabali himself. So hope you guys enjoyed, hope you learned something new. I'm going to be watching this back a couple more times. But yeah, hope you have a good day. Peace.